Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. She's a mother, Ketra, and an aspiring assemblywoman for the new Mampubi electoral area. Juliana Kujulati says she is on a mission to develop and improve the quality of life of people living in her electoral area, and she's hopeful of winning the district-level assembly elections on December 17. Eligible voters in Ghana must go and vote for the progress of your community. It's right in your hands. Mantam Puntunia. Kona Kovati. Kona Kovati. Wale no go. Wale, wale no go. Wale no go. Wale, wale no go. Wale, wale no go. Wale no go. Wale, wale no go. So our previous men have failed. They have failed the uh, community. So all the grounds are crying for a woman, for a change. Because what men can do, women can do better. And Mrs. Juliana Kuju. <laughs> She's friendly and I want her to win. All the men have failed this. Even the last candidate who won has never stepped foot in this vicinity. When you go around, you can see the dilapidated areas, the drainages, and the bridges, you go, see, you go see water stagnant and all that. So we will make sure we do all that. Thank you. This is the time for me and T. Julie. I want to come. Uh -huh. Mama G, you know this area, our sanitation is a problem and our roads are very bad. And even our drainage systems are very poor. So, vote for Auntie Julie. What is the first thing you want to do in this community for us? Community. We have to get dustbins across all the areas. We have number one, sanitation. No, you know, we have to get problems in the area. Apart from sanitation, what other solution are you bringing on board to New Manprobi electoral area? Our roads are very bad, so the road also is number two. It's our major problem. You know this is our area. Mm -hmm. Robbers, yes, robbers, robbers. So what, uh, if you come to power, what will you do? The youths need job. If you don't have a job, you put yourself into a robbery and other things. So our uh, youths, we, they need help. Our bridges have broken down. Sanitation is also a challenge. We want her to address them. We've tested the men for so long a time and we've seen that things are not going well. And there's a saying, what men can do, women can do it better. Assembly,
All the best to Auntie Julie. Let's now focus on education and the Totibo DA basic schools in the Isojaman district now has decent classroom facilities following TV3's expose on their plight. An international NGO, Pencil of Promise, has handed a furnished two, three classroom unit blocks with offices to the school. Peter Kwao Adato reports the benefactors have further enrolled the school on wash. Established in 1978, the Totibo Basic School has been without decent infrastructure. This HIPIC project in 2004, accommodating the lower primary and preschool, remained the only classroom block ever. The upper primary and the junior high schools continue to study under sheds made from palm branches. As a result, academic activities were frequently disrupted, especially during the rainy seasons and any time there's bad weather. A section of the school at a point had to be relocated to a bead manufacturing factory belonging to a resident. These compelled some concerned teachers to seek help as the school prepared to mark its 40th anniversary in 2018 using mass media. TV3's Peter Kwa Dato visited the school and reported about the challenges facing teaching and learning. An international NGO, Pencil of Promise, then came to the aid of the school by putting up two new three-unit classroom blocks. The genesis of this building was in 2018 when the school celebrated its 40 years anniversary. I was overwhelmed when the committee informed me that they have been able to contact an NGO called Pencils of Promise, which has agreed to put up classroom units for us. The project was executed in collaboration with the district assembly, with the Totibo community providing labor representing 20% of the total cost. The two facilities are completed with disability-friendly features, furnished with desk and connected with electricity. Additionally, the benefactors have provided the school with new lavatory and renovated the existing one along with modern hand-washing facilities. The teachers of this school has already been trained and ready for action. We will be sending our team here every two weeks to monitor the activities that will be going on in this school. We are sure that the head teacher and teachers of this school would give us the needed support as they have done during the construction of these classroom blocks. The district director of education, Theodore Nt, cautioned the school management and the community against misuse of the new facilities. We have to maintain it. Let's improve on it. Let's do the minor maintenance and keep the classrooms as has been given to us today. Member of Parliament for Sujaman, Thomas Ampemnyako, was grateful for the support. I'm proud with my association with the Pencils of Promise. The model that Pencil of Promise uses is a model that as a country we need to look at and encourage in most of our areas because very often we provide infrastructure in many areas that people don't feel they own he called on the teachers to let the support translate into good academic performance going forward And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for your time.